Hello there, this is Seb from, well, uh, <laughs> long after I recorded this video. Basically, this was recorded before Seth Roth was essentially shadow dropped, but, well, there were no patch notes, because the patch notes are coming the 22nd, Tuesday, which means that this video still works. And so, you know, I'd suggest watching all the way through to the end, because you may or may not agree with some of the things I put on, well, my wish list for Durfs and Buffs. I do try to go into detail. Uh, but that's basically it, you know, I just hope you enjoy, I, you know, I was like, I was, I was carefully thinking of what I wanted to do, so yeah, I just can't wait to see what patch notes we do get, though, on the 22nd when Seth Roth officially, officially shows up, so yeah, anyways, just enjoy the video. Here comes a new challenger! Hello there, everyone, and welcome to... My buffs and nerfs wish list for version 10.0. So, with this all being said, I'm just gonna go over the characters alphabetically, and if I skip a character, uh, well, it's because I'm not, you know, I think they should just stay the same. So, with that all being said, let's get started. Uh, first with uh, Banjo. Banjo, I just think he needs a buff to his up air, more percent, and more hit stun. Basically, make it a better combo tool that uh, leads to even more damage and uh, have it connect even better so there you go uh, same with uh, Bayonetta though in some cases just have give some of her hip uh, hip boxes make them a bit bigger so that way combos well combo you know like moves connect better so say for instance you do like si uh, aerial side B into Aerial side B again, sometimes it, it can just miss. So just like extend like the hitbox of the second one, you know what I mean? So that way it can, uh, it'll connect better. Stuff like that basically make her moves connect even better because even uh, up air can still miss, I mean up tilt can still miss at times. It's uh, it's pretty funny, but also kind of sad. So yeah, uh, Bowser, uh, the only real buff he would ever need is just his tech animations, but uh, uh, I don't think they're gonna fix that, so, uh, yeah, Bowser's forever, uh, done for. Bowser Jr., just, if he gets hit while out of his clown cart, he should get it back. Simple as that. With Byleth, it's just mainly three things that I would want for him, and that's, um, better airspeed, you know, a bit better, not drastically better, just a bit better. Up B, make it faster, out of shield, right, like, so when you, when you throw it out of shield, you know, it's a much faster move, and, you know, you can... You know, hit your opponent, whatever. Uh, so that would be awesome. The last thing, I guess, would be for his side B, make it a kill move when it hits the sweet spot, because that thing won't kill. Like, it literally won't kill. The only other thing I can mention is just fix the whole Shulk thing, where if Shulk opens up his Monado wheel, well, then, um, Byleth kind of loses that if he gets grabbed by the up B, if Shulk gets grabbed by Byleth's up B. But there you go. I think Falcon's fine where he is, Chrom is fine, Cloud, I think that's fine, but I would like for a limit to be extended a bit more, maybe like up to 20 seconds, 25 seconds around there, because, uh, or, or give us a visual indicator of when our limit's about to run out, because sometimes it just feels it happens randomly, um, Orin's fine, Dark Pit, the pits are fine, I think, I think they're fine where they are now. Diddy's fine. Donkey Kong, this guy, this guy sucks. His tilts are negative on hit, with the exception of down tilt if it trips, for obvious reasons, you know. It can't can't be negative if it trips. Uh, and just fix his hurt box. Like, this this character, Donkey Kong is the only character in the game that he can get comboed, right? For moves that shouldn't combo. Like, as an example, if you were to play as Villager, you slide him off a platform, you can literally hit jab block him whilst Villager's still on the platform with your jab and hit him with your up smash, even though both moves should not be able to hit. It's very funny, but it's also kind of sad. Non-Kutter Mario, just give him better airspeed and a better recovery. That's all he really needs. That's all he really, really needs. Uh, alright. Uh, Falco's fine. Fox? Hmm. With... Fox? Uh, I don't know. I think he's fine as is. It's just one of those things where it's like, he's very linear, so I would like him to be reworked, but otherwise, you know, it is what it is. Actually, let's add that as a, 
as a thing, actually. Uh, we'll, we'll make this one uh, this color. Uh, needs to be reworked. So there's, a, there's some characters I would like to put on there. And I guess Fox would be one of those characters. Like, just give him something else that isn't just Nair up smash confirms, you know what I mean? Like, sure, that's a great confirm, but uh, it's very linear, it's very predictable, and I, you know. You know, Duck Hunt definitely needs uh, some buffs. I would feel, I, this is my personal opinion, uh, when it comes to side B, aerial side B, not when he lands on the ground, not landing lag, but lag in the air, just shave it off, like, in half. Like, when you use side B in the air and you're falling, you are stuck just waiting to move for, like, a, a good two seconds, it feels. It's absolutely ridiculous. The only other things I would like to see buffed from Duck Hunt is just give uh, his moves better combo ability. Uh, some of his tilts, some, like, up tilt, you know, stuff like that. I think it'd help a lot. So, yeah. Otherwise, uh, I, yeah, I think Duck Hunt's fine for now. But, uh, Ganondorf definitely needs a bunch. He's slow and dies to edge guarding pretty hard, so to benefit that, I think his his only real buff would be air speed, really, because air speed, air speed would, allow, would allow him to uh, space out back air better, near better, you know. Uh, sure, his ground speed's fine, but, like, I think his ground speed is okay. But it's that. I still think they need to buff his dash attack because there's this really weird thing where in Ultimate, uh, in previous games, you could, you know, you can walk through your opponents, but in this game, you can't. And because of that, uh, Ganon's dash attack, especially the late hit, is so small that when Ganon hits you with his dash attack, he, he just pushes you. Like, he doesn't even hit you with the hitbox for some characters. So just make the hitbox bigger, please. Uh, there's no reason why it should be so small. Yeah, moving on, Greninja I think is fine, Hero I think is fine, uh, Ice Climbers, for right now I think they're fine, I haven't seen Nana break yet, <laughs> yet. <laughs> Ike is fine in my opinion, and Sinroar, he's just one of those characters where if you don't buff up his air, like his, his speed, he's just always going to be bad, which is unfortunate, because I do think the character does have a lot of potential, but he's just so slow. Inklings I think is fine, though I guess, yeah, no, I think they're fine actually. I think they're perfectly fine. Isabel, she definitely needs some buffs. When she uh, first extend her rolls, her rolls are so short that like, that, like say you were next to Ganon, Ganon F smashes, even if you roll away, you'll still get hit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So as an example, like just as an example, she doesn't really go anywhere. So when it comes to her disadvantage, like it's really bad. Um, and uh, you know, uh, I guess just make some of her other moves just a bit stronger, really. Uh, because she's she's fine. She's definitely fine. I don't think she's like she's not that she's not that bad, but like she definitely could use a few buffs here and there when it comes to some of her tilts. Like up like up tilt, just make it like a better combo move. Like it combos well enough. Like but like I mean at later percents like mid mid to high that that definitely would help a little bit. Um, and just make Lloyd Rocket work better. That's about it really. Um, all right, moving on. Ivysaur. I think Ivysaur is fine. Joker. Hmm. Yeah, I think there is one thing Joker does need though. Uh, there's this really weird thing with his tether recovery because his, you know, his regular up B tether. Uh, the way tethers work is that it's like a, a gigantic invisible hitbox that if it detects the ledge, it grabs it. For Joker, there's like this, these weird spots where it just won't grab regardless. So I think that needs to be fixed a little bit. You know, <laughs> but. Hey, I know people are gonna see that and go like, Joker don't need no bus. Okay, well you didn't even watch the video. All right, uh, let's go on. Jigglypuff. I th the the main thing I feel that Jigglypuff really needs is just if she like don't let her turn around, don't make her turn around after backer. Backer's such an amazing spacing tool, but you can't use it because you turn around. Kind of sucks. Kind of blows. <sighs> Whatever. Anyways, uh. For Ken, I'm gonna put Ryu here since they both share the same issue, and that's just have it so jab one, just jab one, light jab one, has more hit stun. You could, you could, uh, with Ryu, uh, Ken, we'll use Ken as an example. If you try to do jab one to roundhouse kick, uh, as Ryu or as other characters like Marth, Lucina, you could literally just Shoryuken the character. It's, uh, it's quite unfortunate. 
Alright. So now move on to DDD. I think DDD is okay where he is right now. Uh, the Gordo is definitely a fake projectile, so that should be kind of fixed. And I guess, I guess, uh, increase some of his frame data because uh, I think if you increase it too much, yeah, sure, his airspeed's bad, but like, you know, if uh, if he had like really really solid moves, I feel like it would be a bit too good. But maybe that's just me, you know, not really visualizing well. I just think that Gordo should just return back to how it was back at day one, but. That's just me. K. Rule can say where he is. He's very obnoxious, though. I will say that. K. Rule's become a super obnoxious character. Uh, Kirby definitely needs a lot of buffs. He's too slow in the ground in the air. You know, uh, he can't really... His, his moves aren't really combo tools, so I think, like, down air, for instance, needs a bit more hit stun. Like, his moves just need a bit more hit stun. Uh, he can't really uh, use his best tools because of his slow air speed and slow ground speed. And, um, just get him better combo throw, and that's really about it. That's really about it. I guess also, you know, how, like, holding in your opponent's, uh, copy ability would be a lot nicer, too, because, man, sometimes it really... I mean, they keep buffing it, and, uh, you know, it's definitely not... You definitely won't lose it, like, immediately as you used to, but still, it would be nice if, if they help that out a little bit. One can say the same. Little Mac, I've already made a video on. So, if you want to watch that video, you can. Um, there you go. I already I already addressed the problems that I think Mac needs uh, to be addressed in that video. Lucario, same thing. I made a video on him. So, uh, I'll leave a playlist. I think you can leave playlists in the outro. So, in the outro, I'm going to have a playlist to my Smash Analysis series. But... If you want, like, a quick summary, I guess, uh, Lodomac, make his tilts better, uh, and make his aerials combo moves, and for Lucario, actually, it's not even that, he just needs to be reworked, like, he's, he's really bad. Link is fine, Lucas, I, th Lucas, I think is fine, it's just one of those things where it's like, all you really see is PK fire and PK freeze, so you don't really see much of the character, you don't really, you, you, like, you can't really gauge the character's potential, you know what I mean? That's how I feel. Lucina... I think Lucina and uh, we'll get to Marth later, but just have Nair connect better. That's all I can. That's all I can ever ask for, honestly, uh, because Nair Nair sometimes doesn't work. So that's something that should be buffed, in my opinion. Luigi needs to be reworked, and you ex you know exactly why. Mario, why, uh, why did I grab Mario? Mario's fine. I think Mario's fine. I know people are like, oh my goodness, like he has cutscene combos and all this sort of stuff. But I'm like, I don't really see the problem with that. Like, you know, I don't really see the problem with, like, characters having, like, combos, you know? Or, like, <laughs> like long combos. Because, you know, in, in other fighting games, you know, there are, there are things where you're stuck in a combo for, like, a, a whole, you know, five minutes. Okay, that's an exaggeration, but, you know, you're stuck in a combo for a long time. Uh, Mario, you know, I've seen what people call as cutscene combos, and they're not as long as people want to exaggerate. Uh, but there's that. Alright, Marth. Marth, definitely... Could use some buffs uh, particularly just give is uh the the two that i can think of is make his tilts like his uh sour spots have give them more hit stun give them more hit stun i would say his sour spots and then for his side b put the tipper of the move on the sword like actually on the sword instead of being outside of the sword i don't know why why that is that's really really stupid I'm not gonna lie to you. All right. Anyways, so who's next? Mega Man, I think, is fine. Meta Knight, I think, is fine where he is right now. Mewtwo, I always say it. Just remove the tail. All right. Me Brawler's fine. Me Gunner, I think, is fine. It's just again untapped potential. Me Sword Fighter needs to be reworked. He's like the one trick pony. All right. So with Min Min, my only real issue with Min Min is because. Here's the thing, with her advantage state, it's super oppressive, and, like, you have a small chance of, of basically returning things back to neutral. With her disadvantage, obviously, there are some weak spots, but when it comes to her, uh, but my only main issue with Min Min is her pressure on shield. I feel personally that if she hits your shield, 
the window of you being able to throw out another arm should be shortened a little bit, right? I think that the time between Min Min, like say for instance, as an example, I'm shielding and Min Min hits me with her dragon arm and then, okay, now I'm going to jump off and I'm, I'm going to jump from my shield you know, or, or whatever. I'll do something to get to approach, but then, you know, because she can delay it just enough, she hits me with Ram Ram, right? So... Uh, and the fact that she can still move with her arms, like she doesn't need to do the smash attack, she could just do the tilt. Yeah, no, uh, that's uh, it's kind of not so nice, you know what I mean? Alright, game watch, you already know. Character, character's literally made for people without brains. Uh, like, yeah, you, you've seen Meister's gameplay, I would assume. And me personally, not really a fan of how that character is designed, personally. Uh, Ness, I think he's fine right now. Pac-Man, I think he's fine. Palu, you know, we all have our opinions. Peach. Peach, so, alright, let's, let's play, let me put it this way. I still don't agree with the fact that she can do, like, uh, short, short hop floats. Or not short hop floats, but, like, you know, like, she can float near, near the ground, and, but she still gets, like, full hop damage. I don't personally agree with that. I don't think that she should have that, because, you know, when characters sh short hop, they have less damage and knockback, so... You know, why why does Peach and Daisy get that privilege of having their full damage and knockback whilst being so low to the ground? You know, it's kind of why her why their shield pressure is so scary in uh, other other aspects of the character. So I think that needs to definitely be nerfed, in my opinion. Alright. Peach, you just return him back to how he was, but you can keep the damage, right? But give him back his fear, give him back these things, but you can keep the damage. I, uh, I said fair, but his F tilt, right? Like, I don't know why they nerfed him so hard as they did. It, but I personally don't agree with it. With Pika, just make it so he doesn't pancake. That's it. I, I find issue with the fact that he could just pancake under certain moves when when approaching you. Or if he'd like, say for instance, he fares my shield and it was like a very poor punish. Then I and I lose for that. I come come on. That's some trash. That's trash. Okay, moving on though. All right, so moving on, we have Olimar. Personally, I don't know what they could do for Olimar. Like, you never really see the character anymore, honestly. It also doesn't help that he's not really that much hype, you know. <laughs> or at least uh, doesn't seem like he's that much hype. We don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know if I should like. Like, I have no opinions on him. You know, like, I don't know if he needs buffs uh, or not. He definitely doesn't need nerfs. Like, no, 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 definitely not. For Plant, though, the funny thing is, is that the only buff he really needs at this point is just uh, up air to connect better. Because the thing is, is that up air, he goes into the Z axis when he does his up air. So I think they need to increase the hitbox on the up air, like on the sides, basically, so he can actually hit you. <laughs> Right? Because, uh, it's a very awkward hitbox. It's sort of like Hero Up Air, but, like, even worse in terms of hitbox. They gave it head intangibility, which is great, but, uh, that's really about it, you know? And Up Air's such a good tool, but, you know, in terms of comboing, but <laughs> it kind of sucks for everything else. Alright, moving on. Uh, the pits, I said, are fine. Belmonts, uh, yeah, so Belmonts, they definitely need some buffs. Uh, Belmonts, kinda, kinda not so great. Kinda not so great. I kinda skipped ahead, didn't I? But... You know, you, you get the idea, fine. I'll put them both here, just so no one gets upset at me. Here's the thing. Belmonts, uh, it's really weird, because for some of the buffs that they had last patch, it kind of actually hurt them. The two in particular being up, uh, up tilt and, um, and uh, dash attack, because at low percents, they do more knockback. The thing is, is that you could, as a mix-up, for, like, after dash attack, go for an F smash, and uh, at, at ledge, for some stages, like, that kill, like, 20, 30, which is kind of ridiculous. But that's only if you like you air dodged or whatever, you get hit by that, right? Because you think they're gonna approach you with like a with a bear or whatever, and then they don't. Uh, for up tilt, you used to be able to hit like two up tilts, and because of that, your opponent would would like air dodge, right? So like say on like a stage like battlefield, you hit them with your up tilt, they air dodge, you can like throw a holy water on them, right? Holy water also I think needs more damage. But that's just me. Well, not more damage, actually. Thinking about it, I think I want more hits done, basically. 
uh you know so because uh yeah sure at ledge it seems really good but like when you're actually trying to use it outside of ledge it's, it's not that great it also doesn't help that some of their moves are only active for like one or two frames and they're very skinny hitboxes so yeah no definitely definitely could use some help there you know and uh, uh, da da uh down tilt like both hits <laughs> sometimes won't connect like it's it's really weird uh belmont's definitely need a lot of assistance for ridley i just think that he needs uh me personally i just think he needs more hits done on his combo moves i think side b definitely needs buff because with some command grabs right it's usually they either have high startup below uh below end lag even if you miss or they have uh, a lot of startup but no you know like or they have no startup but a bunch of lag uh ridley has both a lot of startup and a bunch of lag so when you throw it out uh you don't really get rewarded and sometimes you just die for it that's unfortunate and even if you try to do like a ridley side right you take them to a blast with you uh as long as they don't mash out uh well they get bounced up back to the stage and if you think, well, maybe if I jump, well, they can tech and then kill you for it. So, yeah, there's literally no winning <laughs> if you get like a side B off stage, basically. That's quite unfortunate. All right, moving on, though. I think Rob's fine. Obnoxious, but I think he's fine. For Robin, I do think he still needs like some buffs. Uh, primarily give side B uh, the ability to activate when it... Uh, clashes with something. It used to do that in Smash 4, it doesn't do that no longer. So it's not really a threat, like it still activates on your shield, but I mean like on stage, you know? And then when he doesn't have his tomes, give him like literally no lag, make them fake out moves. I think that'd be very interesting. As an example in uh, Street Fighter Alpha, you could, uh, say you did a, a fireball motion, right? You did, a, you throw out a fireball. Well, instead of pressing a punch button, if you press the start button or like the player button, you would do a fake out like you'd have like literally no lag after you do the animation um uh, i think that would be interesting to have that for robin i think that would be make things very very interesting so yeah that's what i think they should do uh let's see here rose i think is fine Roy, i think is fine uh samus is like yeah i think they're fine for right now chic chic is just chic is really just a player specific like a character specific you know it's meant for a type of player you know she is definitely really hard to play you know and so uh, someone like void for instance can play her masterfully but like other people might not be able to you know do what void does as an example so she is kind of like she's very weird i don't i don't i don't know if like she should get buffs because again it's just one of those things where it's like She's very character specific, you know, like if you're playing her, you're only really playing her. Maybe you might have a secondary, but like, you know, like she's basically the main. With Shulk, uh, I think he's fine-ish. The only nerf that I would want for Shulk really is just pull down uh, for Monada Arts to be extended a bit more. That's about it. Like his Monado art cooldown should be extended more because I think, I think with Shulk, like, let me give you some, like, let me, let me put this scenario in your head. Like he could basically, you know, retreat fair and throw out all these moves and there's not much you could do about it. And then once he runs out of his arts, by the time you catch up to him, it, he kind of has them back already. But hey, that's just, that's just me. That's just me. All right. Moving on though, Snake, I think he's fine. Sonic, definitely could use reworks. Um, yeah, but hey, that's just me, right? That's just me. Uh, moving on though, Steve, he's he's new. I don't think he should get changes. Um, Terry definitely needs more hit stun and uh, less the ability to SC out of his second air jab. Uh, it's very extreme because you could just literally SDI in uh, if Terry tries to go for, say, Jab Jab Power Dunk, there's not a lot he could do about it, you know? And then just give, like, Chop better... Either give it, like, a lower knockback angle, right? So, like, higher percents, if you try doing Chop Burn Knuckle, it will connect. Even, like, 
80 or whatever. So I think that'd be great. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Because if you like SDI, like, for instance, if he jab jab power decks you, you can SDI and say someone like Hero or Ganon, for instance, could fall off and uh, do an F smash to wherever he's gonna land and. Uh, and, well, Terry could just literally die for that, as an example, right? Like, I was just using those two characters because very similar F smashes and stuff like that. Very similar scenario. Except, you know, Hero has a 1 in 8 chance of just killing you, straight up. Toon Link? The problem with Toon Link is that I feel he needs buffs. But I can never... I can never say what, right? Because he's obviously an inferior young Link, there's no question about that. But you don't really treat him as a sortie. So like, for me personally, what I would like is uh, three major things. One, make his projectiles slower. That way he can run behind them. You know, he can approach with them a lot better. I think that'd be great. His bombs are fine, except his bomb. His bomb is perfectly fine as is. I just mean arrow and boomerang. I think bear. Should definitely have more hits done, uh, better combo ability, and a better angle for uh, easier combos. And the the last thing I guess I would really want is just just I know this is gonna sound like weird, but like just make his up be a better up be out of shield. I don't know, like I feel like compared to like Young Link, Young Link when he throws out his up B, he's virtually uh, unpunishable with. Toon Link, you can, you can hit him. So I think just make it have, like, less end lag or something like that. You know. But hey, that's just me. Yeah, I just think Toon Link needs something. I think Toon Link needs something to def uh, differentiate, de well, make him different from Young Link. Right? I'm not, I can't speak. You know, the, you could see the time on there when I'm recording this. But I, I do think, me personally, I do think that... He, he needs something to make himself different from Young Link. I just, I can't really pinpoint what that should be. Alright, so for Villager, I think Villager, I think Villager's fine where he is. I think this character is like a sleeper, uh, high tier, probably. Like, it's just one of those things where it's like, character specific, right? Like, you're only really playing Villager. Because they buffed, they buffed a lot of things that were really bad with the character, and I think he's really good now. I think he's a really good character, and I don't think a lot of people are seeing it, you know? Like, there's the thing, like, with Smash 4, as an example, like, you know, a lot of people thought Villager sucked, but then uh, Renai showed up and really showed people, hey, no, this character's really strong. This is a really strong character. And what did people do? Oh, like, this character's high tier now. So I do think, like, maybe give him a, like, a real confirm of some kind. But even then, like, uh... I don't really think he even needs that. I, I just think Villager's really good as is right now. I, do, I just... But maybe I'm wrong about something. Maybe. Uh, Wario. He's fine where he is. We fit. Uh, definitely use hitbox changes. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really think he changes. Okay, actually, you know what? They do need to be reworked, though. They are way too strong at ledge. And then when they're on stage, they're also extremely strong. Like the damage output that we fit can put can deal out, especially with deep breathing, is horrifying. And the fact that they're already so strong at ledge is obnoxious. So like it's just one of those things where it's like you can't have it both ways. Like with Sonic, right? He can't be a rushdown character and also be a campy character at the same time. You know what I mean? Yoshi, I don't think I don't really think he needs anything for right now. Same with Young Link. Uh, with Zelda, she could definitely use some buffs, though. Zelda, uh, and, you know, Zero Suit, for Zero Suit, just have her fair connect better, but with Zelda, it's really hard to pinpoint, but I, I feel like Phantom needs to be reworked a little bit. Have it so, instead of it, like, give, give the time between you having Phantom complete, and by the time it automatically launches, uh, because... When it's complete, you can press down B again at any point to make it launch, but at some point it launches by itself. I think the time between you completing it and by the time it does it automatically should be extended, so uh, setups and combos are much easier, you know what I mean? And I also think that the hitboxes are kind of weird, because sometimes it will literally not hit you with the sword at all. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, could definitely, could definitely use some buffs. Could definitely use some buffs. 
But yeah, otherwise, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's all I wanted to say. Uh, if you guys disagree with me, uh, oh, well, this is objective. This is objective facts. Like, like this is uh, this is all true. Objective opinion. Sorry. Uh, and and my objective opinion is that I'm right. You're wrong. Case closed. No, but in all seriousness. Tell me what you agree, what you disagree with. Tell me what characters you think should get buffs or nerfs or whatever the case may be. For me personally, you know, this is what I'm currently feeling it out right now. You know, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. With that all being said, I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves out there. You know, it's a crazy, crazy world out there. And hey, Sephiroth is coming out. But we're going to see his presentation. It's going to be exciting. And yeah. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. And uh, bye-bye.